believer on that very day. Yes. I believe that Jesus was the true and living Son of God. Mm -hmm. On that wonderful day, I admit that I was a sinner. Mm -hmm. I believe that Jesus died, and I believe that God raised him from the dead. Hallelujah. All I had to do was admit, believe mm -hmm. with my whole heart, yes. and then confess. Oh, yes. I had heard the gospel. Mm -hmm. and the word gospel literally means good news. Yes, sir. It is the plan that God has designed to save sinful humans from eternal separation from him. Mm -hmm. However, four months later, I was called to preach. Well, <laughs> Although I begged God to let me do something else. Well, well on June 27th, 1993, I preached my first sermon, and the title of that sermon was A Claim of Victory. Oh, yes. My sermonic text was from two verses of 1 John 5, 4, and 5. And it reads on this wise, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Mm -hmm. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, Amen. even our faith. Amen. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus yes, is the Son oh, yeah. of God. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. I claim victory because I heard the good news. Yes. That I, well, little old bad me, <laughs> could on. be delivered from sin. Yes, sir. Then the news got even better when I realized two more things. Mm -hmm. Number one, well, my deliverance of sin would not come by my own works of righteousness. Mm -hmm. And number two, I didn't have to earn it. Moreover, because of grace, mm -hmm. which is God's redemption at Christ's expense, well, I received something that I didn't deserve. And because of his mercy, I would not have to receive something that I did deserve. Come on, preach. So now I preach the gospel, mm -hmm. and my main objective is winning souls as I now carry on what heaven instructed my grandfather mm -hmm. and my bishop, mm -hmm. pastor, and father did. Mm -hmm. So I recommend to you, and I do hope you are still listening, I recommend to you the good news of the gospel that comes from the Bible. All that it takes is having faith in God mm -hmm. and what the Bible teaches. Oh, yes, sir. Be I B L E. If you are listening, repeat that out with me. B I B L E. That could mean the legal's instructional book for living every day. Yes, sir. B I B L E. Come on. Believers' instructions before leaving earth. <laughs> So I say to you all, and especially if you are preachers, let's make sure yeah. we have some good news for them that are lost. Oh, yes. Let's make sure uh -huh. we give them some good news to them that are trying to find their way. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure the world knows that this good news yeah. comes from God. Oh, yes, it comes from the Bible. Uh -huh. It comes from the gospel. Yes, sir. And I pray that it will come more and more from you, Ooh. and especially preachers everywhere. Right, right. As preachers, we all will spend the rest of our lives mm -hmm. trying to live what we preach. Mm -hmm. But let's remember, Jesus did not have to live what he preached. Yes, sir. He preached. Uh -huh. Come on, Pastor. Come on. When Jesus preached his first sermon, he laid a foundation for good news preachers. Yes, he did. 
His Somalic text was read from a scroll. Mm -hmm. And his two verses of scripture were read from Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 and 2. Furthermore, Dr. Luke records it in his gospel narrative. Luke chapter 4, verses 17 and 18. Mm -hmm. And let me share it with you. Verse 17, the Bible says, And there was delivered unto him mm -hmm. the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, mm -hmm. he found the place where it was written. And as Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord yeah. is upon me. Come on. Because he has anointed me yes. to preach the gospel to the poor. Yes. He has sent me to heal the broken heart, oh, yes. to preach deliverance to yes. the captives, and recovering of sight yes. to the blind, yes. to set at liberty them that are good. Oh, yes. A stimulus check in the mail is always good news. Amen. Yes, but it's just for some. Well, yeah. The stimulus package of salvation mm -hmm. that comes from God the Father mm -hmm. and God the Son, oh, yeah. God the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. is the best news. Yes, sir. Because it's for all and not just for some. Well, well. Now that's good news <laughs> to me. That's the best news. Yes, sir. The right news. Yes, sir. The only new oh, yes, sir. that needs to heaven. Believe it, believe it, yes, believe sir. it, yes. and receive it. Oh, yes, sir. Ain't that good news? Good news, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 That's all right. That's all right. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, That's for that right. word. Lincoln Park Holiness Church is about loving people and helping community. Our main objective is winning souls. If you feel God knocking on the door of your heart, please open up and let him in. You are welcome to partner with us or help sponsor this ministry and broadcast with a donation. Please visit our website at lincolnparkchurch.com and click Let's Give at the top of the screen. Please feel free to leave comments. You can also download the GiveLify app on your mobile phone or Cash out at Lincoln Park CRF. We are located at 13 Heath Street in Raleigh, North Carolina. God bless you, and we look forward to joining you next week on NFI Radio and Catch the Wave from the number one radio station reaching the world of gospel music and preaching.